Is Elon Musk sweating yet? Tesla practically defined electric cars, but a new challenger has emerged. Welcome back to EV Frontier, and today we're diving into a question that's been sparking a lot of debate. Is Tesla doomed? The electric vehicle industry has been on a tear lately, and some folks are wondering if Tesla's reign is at risk. So stay tuned because we'll be breaking down the facts behind who's currently taking the EV dominance, what it means for Tesla, and what the future holds for the electric car landscape. Let's dive into the details and find out. In 2024, Ford Motor scaled back the production of their electric F-150 Lightning, a variant of their popular pickup truck. Sales of the Lightning plummeted, partly due to its higher cost compared to its gasoline-powered version. But this isn't an isolated incident. With an average cost of $55,000, electric cars are a tough sell for many American consumers, especially when EV adoption is crucial for achieving climate goals. Approximately 40% of the cost of manufacturing an electric vehicle is attributed to the battery. In 2023, it was reported that Ford was exploring potential sites in Virginia and Michigan for a new battery plant to reduce cost. However, there was a complication. The battery technology they intended to use came from CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer based in Fujian Province, China. Due to its connections with China, influenced if not controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, Virginia's governor rejected the proposal, putting Ford's CEO on the defensive, asserting that the plant would be a wholly owned subsidiary of Ford and prompting them to seek an alternative location. The battery plant got entangled in a wider trade conflict between the U.S. and China, driven by the remarkable growth of China's electric vehicle market. Chinese companies now account for over half of global EV sales, and in a few short years, they've introduced sleek and affordable electric cars to the market. The core of this rise is the electric vehicle battery, an area where China has truly taken the lead globally. So, how did Chinese companies develop the world's leading EV battery? And can U.S. automakers produce an affordable electric car without it? A major factor behind the success of China's EV battery development is extensive government support. Around 20 years ago, China was poised to become the world's largest oil importer, so transitioning to an electric car fleet was a strategy to enhance energy independence. Additionally, addressing severe air pollution in Chinese cities, partly caused by car emissions, was crucial. The head of the Ministry of Science and Technology strongly supported this transition, believing that Chinese companies could not compete with internal combustion engine technology. This led to a suite of policies that heavily supported new energy vehicles as defined by the Chinese government. Car manufacturers received subsidies for every car sold. Chinese EV companies also benefited from cheap land leases from the government and low interest loans from state-owned banks. Between 2009 and 2022, the Chinese government provided an estimated $29 billion in subsidies, research funding, and tax breaks to the EV industry. Starting around 2009, local governments created immediate markets for these companies by contracting them to electrify their bus and taxi fleets. For instance, Shenzhen's fleet of 16,000 buses was fully electrified by BYD, which later became the world's largest EV company. To encourage consumer adoption, the government offered generous subsidies and other perks, such as discounts on charging, preferred parking, and exemptions from traffic congestion policies. EVs were even given distinct license plates, making them easily recognizable and highlighting their special treatment. However, EV batteries were not very efficient, prompting the Chinese government to introduce stricter battery standards. These standards mandated that only vehicles with batteries meeting certain density levels could qualify for credits. This move led to a surge in consumer EV sales in China. To protect their domestic battery industry, the government required foreign car makers like GM and Tesla to use Chinese-made batteries in their EVs to be eligible for consumer subsidies. China's central government ended consumer subsidies in 2022, but by then, the demand for electric vehicles had already been established. By 2024, more than half of new car sales in China were electric, marking a significant milestone. This shift indicates that a majority of consumers now prefer EVs over traditional gasoline cars. Another factor behind the dominance of Chinese battery companies is their control over the supply chain for battery components. The lithium-ion battery, commonly used in electric vehicles, consists of four main parts. 
the cathode, anode, electrolyte solution, and separator. The cathode typically contains nickel, cobalt, and manganese, while the anode is made from graphite, and the electrolyte largely consists of lithium salts. Over the years, Chinese companies have secured ownership stakes in mines worldwide where these minerals are found. By controlling production, they also control pricing. But China's grip goes beyond mining. They also dominate the crucial post-mining stages, refining a majority of the world's battery minerals. This refining stage, where raw materials are processed to extract the desired minerals, is highly polluting, which is why it's rarely done in developed countries. After refining, Chinese factories manufacture most of the components needed for EV batteries, the cathode, anode, electrolyte, and separator, and then assemble them into battery cells. China's established battery manufacturing capabilities, initially developed for electronics, facilitated companies like BYD to transition into EV production. BYD started producing batteries for electronics in the 1990s before moving into the electric vehicle market. Historically, the U.S. has not been a significant player in lithium-ion battery manufacturing. This role was previously held by Japan and Korea, but China has now overtaken both. China's domination of the battery supply chain is so extensive that after the Biden administration implemented a regulation stipulating that no more than half of an electric vehicle's battery components or minerals could be sourced from China to qualify for tax credits, only an estimated 20% of EV models met the criteria. This illustrates just how pervasive China's influence is in the global battery market. Their dominance has allowed Chinese companies to become leaders in battery innovation. Over the past few years, they've managed to avoid using the two most expensive battery materials, nickel and cobalt, by developing alternative technologies. One significant innovation is the development of lithium iron phosphate battery technology. In 2023, CATL, the world's largest battery maker, announced an LFP battery that could power a car for 370 miles on just a 10-minute charge. This breakthrough represents a major step forward in battery technology. Similarly, BYD, another Chinese company, has developed its version of an LFP battery known as the Blade Battery. The Blade Battery is designed to be very thin and long, resembling a blade, which allows more batteries to be packed into the same space. This innovation means that cars equipped with Blade Batteries can travel further without increasing the vehicle's size. This advancement in battery technology has solidified China's position as a global leader in the electric vehicle market. Today, LFP batteries make up a growing share of all electric vehicle batteries, and nearly all of them are manufactured in China. However, this dominance may not last long. CATL has already built battery plants in Germany and has plans to establish another in Hungary to serve the European auto market. In the United States, Ford found a site for its CATL battery plant in Marshall, Michigan, although the project has triggered a U.S. House investigation. If approved, this plant will become the first LFP battery production facility in the U.S. The reality is, Chinese EV batteries have become nearly unavoidable in the global electric vehicle revolution. This isn't just because China has a head start. LFP technology itself is mature and cost-effective, making it a compelling choice for car makers worldwide. While there are concerns about fairness and competition due to Chinese government support for the EV industry and ethical questions regarding human rights and environmental practices in China's battery supply chain, the lack of a viable alternative at this point keeps the playing field tilted towards China. The U.S. is stepping up, though. With an estimated $82 billion needed to meet domestic demand by 2030, according to Bloomberg, the U.S. government is investing in building its own battery industry. This might be a long-term solution, but it doesn't address the immediate need for affordable EVs to transition away from fossil fuels. American automakers are currently struggling to compete with Chinese offerings, leaving U.S. consumers with a tough choice. Prioritize distance from a perceived competitor or prioritize the environmental benefits of going electric. The global shift towards electric vehicles is intertwined with China's LFP battery dominance, forcing the U.S. and other countries to grapple with this complex equation. So, is Tesla doomed? Well, not necessarily. China is definitely a powerhouse in the EV market, but the race is on, and the U.S. and other countries are starting to fight back. The future of electric vehicles is going to be exciting, with new advancements and more competition than ever before. 
So, what do you guys think? Will China stay ahead of the pack, or will Tesla and other automakers catch up? Leave a comment below and let us know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next EV adventure. And as always, stay electric.